Warning. Although my content is usually family-friendly, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such, will contain blood, language, suggestive themes, and violence. Viewer discretion is advised. Who's ready for the game to get a lot more epic? I mean, I sure am, but I don't know. You should, because we're on the fourth and kind of sort of final case of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. So we did first Turnabout, <laughs> and Turnabout Sisters, and the Turnabout Samurai, well now we're on Turnabout Goodbyes. And as the name implies, this is where... Say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Say goodbye. I don't know. Well, this is this will be an interesting one. Uh, three, two, one, go. Okay. It's been, what, 15 years? About that, yes. 15 years is a long time to wait. You can't imagine how much I've suffered. You suffered? And now, the perfect opportunity presents itself. At last, I shall have my revenge. Holy cow. What? Merry Christmas. Eesh. I wonder- well, it's a duke. Oh, wow. I wonder- WHAT?! <laughs> WHAT?! <laughs> oh, yeah. WHAT?! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I know he's a prosecution lawyer. What?! <laughs> the real question is, who did he murder? Was he like, hey, Phoenix, let's go get a drink on the boat and they shoot him? <laughs> well, <laughs> um... We'll just have oh to find it out. This is Christmas Day, December twenty fifth. Maybe the, 10 maybe the dude was wearing a mask to look like Edgeworth. Or they were like, <laughs> Okay, I got my I got my hair cut right, now I'm gonna go and pose. Right in company law offices. <laughs> really, Phoenix Wright? You work on Christmas? Hey, hey, Nick! Do you know if there's any good waterfalls around here? Well, sometimes Japanese don't celebrate Christmas. Waterfalls? Dare I ask why? Duh, Nick! Isn't it obvious? I need a waterfall to stand under. Preferably a freezing one. Oh, is that part of your spirit medium training? Of course! Except I've been slacking off lately. I need to breathe the elements and be forged anew under rushing spring waters. Um, okay. It's December. I don't know about any falls per se, but Gord Lake is pretty close. Oh, darn. Sorry, but them's the breaks. Couldn't you just take a cold shower or something? Good idea! So much for the rushing spring waters. Next in the news, a large unidentified animal was sighted at Gord Lake. The town is buzzing with excitement. Locals are calling it Gordy and a tip of the hat it's to Loch Nessie. Ness monster! The Loch Ness Monster. Though its namesake, Nessie, proved to be a hoax, locals are confident their Gordy is the real deal. Whoa. <sighs> boring. Can't they show real news for a change? Nick! Hmm? The water pressure's kinda low in the shower. You want more pressure, huh? Why don't you go down to the fire department and have them spray you with a hose? Good idea, Nick! Apparently ESP is no aid in detecting sarcasm. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Strange occurrences continue at Gord Lake, but this time it's murder! Gord Lake again? <laughs> The body of a man was found in the lake early this morning. A suspect was apprehended. Sources inside the police department revealed that the suspect's name is Miles Edgeworth, age 24. <laughs> Edgeworth was an up-and-coming prosecuting attorney known for his skill and connections. He was guaranteed a long and rewarding career. Has he thrown it all away? <laughs> Edgeworth? What's going on? Edgeworth would never do something like... Nick? Yikes! M Maya! The fireman yelled at me when I called him. We've got bigger things to worry about than that! They arrested Edgeworth! What? You mean the prosecutor? Yeah, he's a suspect in a murder! What? When? Where? Who? Why? How? I, I don't know! Let's go find out, Nick! But let's talk first. Come oh, on. yeah. Well, what should we do? What do you mean? Let's investigate! We should talk to Miles, Mr. 
Mr. Edgeworth and check out the crime scene. You're right. First we need more like, information. Miles or Mister. Save aimlessness and confusion for later. Any ideas? Well, got any good ideas? Not really. I do my best thinking when I'm standing underneath a waterfall. <laughs> you know, I think it's developing a nice luster. I'll look at your badge later, Nick. We've got work to do. I suppose you're right. <laughs> I still think it looks like a thumb. Wait, no, no, no. Examine. Yeah, it could. A potted plant. Looks like it's cleaning day again at the hotel across the way. I hear they're planting a second branch outside the city. I can see the bellboy getting the angle of that screwdriver in the drawer just right. <laughs> I'm surprised that he's not like, Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Like, from across the way. Mia's favorite plant. Its name is Charlie. Maya's gotten in the knack of watering it lately. Charlie's been perking up these days. That's good. Charlie the plant Everyone is the have best a character. <laughs> Mia's desk. If we had more clients, I could probably sit here more often. Lately, I've been spending more time on the couch watching TV. Oh. When, when is this right now? This is December. I guess this it has Christmas been like two Day. months. Phoenix is working Christmas. Difficult looking legal books stand in a formidable row. They mock me. I tried reading one and it made my head hurt. When I closed it, it slipped out of my hand. Then my foot hurt too. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, do we even know if Phoenix has family? It could be that like he's like, well, I guess I have Maya. Let's go to the office and fair, celebrate fair Christmas. Fair enough. Maya brought in a poster of the Steel Samurai the other day. We had a big fight over whether to put it up or not. I know she's just waiting for a chance to sneak it up on the wall. <laughs> Great. December 25th, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Probably one of the most depressing places to spend Christmas. No kidding. You know, Nick, we've all been in here one time or another, haven't we? I guess it comes with the territory. I'm not sure it's something we should mention to too many people. Wow. I never thought I'd see this. Ah! Did he just vanish? Hey, Edgeworth, come back! Oh man, he's mad. What are you doing here? Nick, I don't think he's in a very good mood. Well, he is in detention. Were you in a good mood when you were here? So, you've come to laugh at the fallen attorney? Then laugh. Laugh. Well, why aren't you laughing? Nick, should we be laughing? Nah, it's a trick. Laugh and he'll get mad. Or burst into tears. Edgeworth, we don't have so much free time we can spend it coming down here to laugh at you. Yes, you do. Actually, he's right. I hoped you wouldn't come. I didn't want you to see me. Not like this. Hey, I didn't want to see you either, believe me. Dang. I was not expecting that. Edgeworth, tell me what happened. Why should I? What are you going to do about it? Duh! We're going to help you, that's what! Help me? You? Don't be ridiculous. Sorry? You're a novice! You've only been in three trials! H hey! Sure, you got lucky and won all three, <laughs> but your luck's bound to run out someday. You need real skill, right? Experience. Nick! He's insulting you! Nick! Why am I always the one who has to get angry? The murder took place at Gord Lake, correct? Yes, late last night. The lake is a long way away from your offices and the court. Why were you down there? I see no need to tell you. Well, he's meeting someone. But Mr. Edgeworth! You... you didn't really... Gordy. Huh? I went to see Gordy. Gordy? What's that? I'll tell you later. Why won't Edgeworth talk to us? Well, gee, you're <laughs> in detention and it's Christmas Day. I wouldn't talk either. <laughs> no clues here, but that's the window out. <laughs> Smile through the camera. This guard monitors the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch since I came in. A real pro. Or maybe he's just nervous with Edgeworth in the room. <laughs> Your attorney's badge? Edgeworth, let me defend you. Ha! 
Ha <laughs> ha! Good one, right? But I'm not that hard up. Not yet. But what do you mean by that? Me? Trust a wet behind the ears lawyer with only free trials under his belt? Never. What? My case is near hopeless, right? Every defense attorney I've talked to has turned me down. What? Simply put, they were afraid they'd lose. It occurred to me that it might be my fault that they lack confidence. After all, I did get every single one of their clients declared guilty. No kidding. I don't believe it. Regardless, I don't want you involved in this. You in particular, I cannot ask to do this. I don't know if that's a nice thing or a not nice thing. It's Edgeworth. It's probably a bit of both. Edgeworth, is this re this is really hard for me to ask, but you didn't do it, right? Right? Think what you will. I have only one request. Huh? Stay out of this case. Why? But, but Nick is trying to help you! I know. I know that. But I don't want your help, okay? Why not? Look, just go away and leave me alone! Nick... Mr. Edgeworth did it, didn't he? Maya! Let's go investigate elsewhere. But Nick... Ooh. I mean, I, I kinda understand. He's kinda like, it's Christmas Day, my... I'm in, I'm in jail, and then my weirdo... <laughs> kind of, sort of, kind of, sort of friend rival is like, coming just to talk. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be happy. I love how he still looks very trendy, even <laughs> though... He was arrested wearing his amazing suit. Yeah. December 25th, Gord Lake Park entrance. This is where it happened? Yeah, Gord Lake is in the middle of the park. I can see some police walking in there. Questioning people, probably. Hey, isn't that Detective Gumshoe over there? Well, pal, there's enough of us here. Anyone found anything? S sorry, sir, nothing. Idiot, the trial's tomorrow. We need clues on the double. B but, sir, there weren't any clues. That's why we arrested that attorney, Mr. Edgeworth. It's clear, sir, he's the one who- Shut up! Just you try saying that again. I'll, uh, I'll make you sorry if you do. I mean, just get out of my face, pal. Y yes, sir. Detective Gumshoe's kind of scary today. Recruits. Pah. Ah! Eek! Hey, you're that hairy guy. Hairy butts. Right, Phoenix Wright. Will he ever learn my name? It's just what are you doing here, pal? Investigating? I wish Larry was back. Huh? Um, well, yes, I suppose. Well, I'm here to help. Ask me anything you want. Bring it! He seems different than usual. I wonder what's up. Um, Mr. Edgeworth hasn't actually asked us to defend him yet. Huh? Oh, you, you don't say. Detective Gumshoe? Do you know what happened here? Huh? You don't know, pal? No. Wow, okay, Mr. Head in the Fluffy Pink Clouds lawyer. <laughs> Head in the... Huh? Never mind, I'll tell you. It happened last night, about 15 minutes after midnight. That's when everything crazy happens. There was a boat out on Gord Lake. In that boat were two men. Nothing good happens after midnight, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. I literally... This mom said this to me once, and I was like, um... That means okay. nothing good happens, because that midnight is the very beginning of a day, the day. Sure. <laughs> there were two men in the boat. One of these men shot the other with a pistol. Duh. His hair is great. <laughs> Wait, how is it... He's got the bangs yep. that are part of the middle, which is weird. And then he has, like... <laughs> is his hair scalped back? Yeah, basically. Ugh. That's a really weird hairstyle, I guess. And the shooter was Mr. Edgeworth? A cop who arrived on the scene arrested him. How did he get there so fast? Well, there was a witness. When the report came in, we raced to the lake. Is the witness female? A witness? I know. <laughs> nice old man voice. <laughs> Back in my day! <laughs> you don't think Mr. Edgeworth is a murderer? Absolutely not! It's impossible! I don't care if there's a witness either. I don't believe a lick of it. Hey, who cares what the witness says? I care. You really believe in him, don't you, detective? Of course I do. 
but the police are pretty sure he's the killer. Nobody's even really taken this investigation that seriously. Oh no! After all the help Mr. Edgeworth has been to us, hard to imagine that no one's standing up to take his side. Well, at least you are, Detective. At least you are. Is it true? No one will take Mr. Edgeworth's case? Yeah. He's a bit of a celebrity. If you defended him and you lost, your reputation would be sure to suffer. What's more, the case against him is, well, it's pretty solid. I suppose it would be if they have a witness. Hey, pal! Don't tell me you're going to turn your back on him too! Remember to steal Samurai! Mr. Edgeworth helped you get your client declared innocent! I, I know. I went to Edgeworth. I tried. He really doesn't want us to represent him. Especially not us, he said. What?! Well, well, that doesn't make any sense, pal! You should've heard him talking about you after the Steel Samurai case. He kept saying, right, 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 over and over. Nick? I'm not sure that's a good sign. Neither am I. Why wouldn't he want your help? I don't get it. Who was the witness? Er, sorry, pal. That's confidential. Anyway, the witness saw everything, apparently. I'm sure. Go ahead. They were in a boat in the middle of a lake. Was someone like, oh, I'm taking my nightly row on, on Christmas. Midnight, on Christmas Eve. Well, it would have been Christmas Eve. Christmas the, Eve, Christmas morning, Yeah, whatever. that's true. That would be really weird. Otherwise, they're like, I'm dressed up as the Loch Ness Monster. Roar. Roar. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I hope. <laughs> I'm sure they'll turn up at the trial tomorrow. Was there only that one witness? Yep. It was a pretty cold out there on the lake last night. Yeah, no kidding. And it was Christmas Eve, after all. Still, we're being thorough. You never know when you're going to turn up another witness. That's why we're here today, checking things out. So far, we're coming up empty. Oh! It's Christmas today! I've forgotten! How the heck do you forget that? What are you getting me for Christmas, Nick? Talk to Santa. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, sir! What? Find something? Um, no, sir. Not yet. But there was a call from the precinct. They want to hold an investigation briefing. A briefing? Right, I'm off. Oh, sorry, pal. I guess you heard. I gotta go. Any last things you want to ask me about before I head back? The autopsy report or how to get in touch with you? Uh, but don't we already have touch with him because of previous cases? We don't have, like, his phone number or anything. No? Nope. That's stupid. I feel like if you were working on a case, you'd be like, Hey, detective, can I have your phone number so I can call you in case if something happens? I don't know. I would say the, uh, well, the dude drowned. And was bloody. I mean, he got shot. He got shot, and then he also drowned. <laughs> In that order. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He didn't dr get drowned. I think he died shot. from the bullet. Well, we, I guess we don't know that. I guess we don't know that yet. So. I would say autopsy report, but okay. Well, yes. Do you have any information on the victim? No, Sorry, he they you. haven't worked up the autopsy report yet. I'm still waiting for it myself. Actually, say if you get the time, drop by the precinct. We can talk more there, pal. You're not coming back, detective? Um, probably not, pal. So what should we do if we have something to talk to you about? Ah, right. Here, I'll show you how to get to the precinct. Come down and see me anytime. Detective Gumshoe gave you directions to the police station. Oh, hey, Detective Gumshoe. W what Um, we'd like to take a look around in the park. Can we walk around? Yeah, no problem, pal. You got my permission. You know, Nick... I think there's something to be said for talking to people when they're busy. Yeah, they don't have time to think about not giving you information. Right! Now let's get investigating! I'm not sure if there's anything to examine here, really. Look at the trees! I feel winter's chill from the bare leaf trees today. <sighs> what is it about winter that turns people into poets? I don't know, but my toes are starting to feel numb. That oh my gosh, I am so Maya. Well, that's also because Maya's wearing kind of a short skirt and flip-flops. Okay, true. <laughs> but in the winter, even with, like, fuzzy socks doubled over, I'm like, my toes are numb. Actually, my toes might be numb right now. I can't tell. Yes, my poetry has that effect on some people. <laughs> the sign says, Gord Lake Nature Park. This place is full of families picnicking on the weekend. But no waterfall. Not many picnickers come for spiritual training, Maya. <laughs> oh, look, it's a trash can. 
You didn't even look in the trash can, Nick. That's stupid. Trees. Oh, never mind. It's the same thing. Alright. Yeah, there's like three things there. Alright. Gord Lake Public Beach. Let's take a look. In a book. Reading rainbows. Rainbow. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. December 25th, Gord Lake Public Beach. Wowzers! This is Gord Lake? Yep. I'm not sure it warrants a wowzers, though. Hmm. Probably not. But hey, look at that snack stand! Samurai dogs? I want a samurai dog, please! I bet they're great! With a name like Samurai Dog, how could they not be? <laughs> they're a little behind the times, though. The kids are all into the pink princess now. I mean, like, you know? Nope. <laughs> Ooh, nice view of the lake. Wow, Gord Lake is really big. Yeah. Say, Nick, why is it called Gord Lake? Oh. Well, a long time ago, they used to grow gourds here. Whoa! No way! I was sure it was because the lake looked like a gourd when viewed from above. You know, like an hourglass shape? Well, it is shaped like a gourd, actually, but that's just a coincidence. Oh, okay. <laughs> the trash can is empty. At least the place is well maintained. And also probably nobody comes to the beach in the winter. Huh, someone left one of those poppers here. You know, when you pull the string. And it goes, pop. Yeah, I know the ones. You see them a lot around New Year's. Hey, Nick, it might be a clue. Come on, admit it. You just want to pop it, right? Was that obvious? A popper? Hmm. Take it or leave it. Let's pop it. <laughs> I suppose it couldn't hurt. Huh? Where'd it go? I already put it in my pocket. <laughs> popper, it put in pocket. I think, I think the dogs. same thing happens if you say no anyways. A hot dog stand. It's closed. The Christmas fringe looks a little half-baked. The banner reads Samurai Dogs. Somebody needs to redecorate. <laughs> well, snap, Phoenix. That's not very nice. Whoa, we can go anywhere? December 25th, boat rental shop. Nick, what is this place? A boat rental shop. Closed for Christmas, it seems. I guess a murder taking place on one of those boats won't be good for business, either. Boats? I've never ridden on a boat. Really? Well, how about we go out on one when the trial's finished? Hey, good idea! You bet! Wow, there's like no one here. This is boring. <laughs> well, it is Christmas in the park in the winter. <laughs> this is boring. This is boring. <laughs> there's more forest off that way. I doubt I'd find any helpful clues in there. You didn't even try! <laughs> A small boat rental shop. It doesn't look like anyone is around. They're probably closed because it's Christmas. Who wouldn't want to rent a boat on Christmas Day? There are some boats floating at the dock. Was one of these boats used in the murder, I wonder? Nick! Huh? I changed my mind. I don't really want to go on a boat ride. <laughs> Not at this boat shop. Gord Lake Public Beach. Uh, Welcome to Twinkle Park. <laughs> Gord Lake Woods. December 25th, Gord Lake Woods. I like it here, Nick. Look, someone's camping. They've got guts camping at the scene of a murder. Hey, hey, Nick! If they were camping here last night, they might know something about the murder! That's true. Good call, Maya. Let's go talk to them. Let's go talk to them. <laughs> go inside their car. Oh, uh, yeah. This SUV has seen better days. It's dented all over. Oh, gosh. I can't believe anyone would drive their car down here. <laughs> hey, Nick! What? Don't tell me you're hungry again! No, no. I was just wondering, why are camping pots and pans made of aluminum? They didn't talk about it in any of the law books. <laughs> so there's no law saying that it has to be made out of aluminum, then? I'm not having this conversation. <laughs> Maybe they do that so it doesn't burn too much? The sign says, no camping. Funny place to pick to pitch your tent. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what if the sign said, no setting tents on fire? I don't think they have signs like that. Oh, that would have been great. It's like you can you can camp here, but you can't set your tent on fire. <laughs> There's food and some magazines on the sheet. It takes a pretty tough skin to camp in this cold. Yep, I have friends. They're crazy. I am not into camping myself. I haven't gone camping. 
you're not really missing anything. Yeah. This camera has a mic and some sort of attachment. It must take pictures when triggered by a noise. Wow! Cool! Let's try it out! <coughs> Hi, I'm Nick! Maybe I'm not saying it loud enough. Hey! I'm Nick! Huh. Nick! Will you stop that? Maybe it's broken. D don't kick it! Maybe it isn't set to respond to voices. Well, what then? I know! The party popper? <laughs> yep, it responded. This is you. Yeah! Hey you! Get your hands off of that! Eek! What in Sam Hill? Look what you've done now! There goes a whole roll of film! Ah, uh, what? That is not at all I know. the voice that I'm, I I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of what to do as soon as I get back. I'll pay you back. What are y'all thinking sitting off a party popper in a place like this? Uh, well... What? Okay, I... This lady's definitely stubborn. I always gave her like... What? What in Sam Hill? What in Sam Hill am I doing? <laughs> you all set off a whole roll of film. <laughs> I'll, do, I'll do that. I just got... Don't try to play stupid with me just because you're thinking of some country bumpkin. Yeah, I know how y'all thinks think. I say those southern folks talk with their exaggerated draw, which they must mean dumb. Well, let me tell you, just because I'm dumb don't mean we all are. <laughs> Nick, Nick, help! And who are you now? Her chaperone? <laughs> this is so different from the voice I get, but it works. We're, um, just kind of friends. Just y'all going say and see it for BGM's sake. <laughs> God, I sound... Or, God, I'd rather sit through one of them Papa's draws on a, than listen to you shudder all day. <laughs> Start all day. Oh, boy. <laughs> I guess we should pay for her film. Watch it! Yes, ma'am. On second thought, I'll pay later. I'm really sorry. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> um... What? Can you see I'm changing the film on my camera here? Someone. I'm not naming any names, but someone used up a whole roll. Sorry. That didn't work. I wonder if I have anything to show her that would get her attention. <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna try out a lot of uh, her voice today. <laughs> um, what? Can't you see I'm changing the film on my camera here? Someone, I'm not naming any names, but someone used up a whole roll. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright, you, you're still definitely doing her okay. voice though. Because <laughs> she's one of the few female characters in this. Great. Uh, okay, so I, uh, this is my badge. Huh? Shiny and impressive? You cops something? Um, I'm a lawyer. W what? Y'all ain't gonna try and pull one of them lawsuits on me over that film now. Cause I'll have y'all know I'm a fighter and I wrestle mean looking or things than you. N no, that's not it at all. We're here investigating a murder that took place here on the lake. A murder? Sounds cool. Why didn't y'all say that in the first place? Go ahead, ask me anything y'all like. Finally! Some cooperation! You too! Y'all can come out of hiding now! I won't fight! Hard! Come to think of it, where did Maya get to? Sorry... I was feeling a little overwhelmed. The culture gap and all. <laughs> Never you mind, honey! I ain't gonna... What in the world? I ain't... I can talk... I, I can, can talk, talk yank! yank. <laughs> I can talk yank for you if ahem, it pleases you. Th thanks! I think I'll be okay. Great then! I'm Lada! Lada Heart! But y'all can call me Lada! Boom! <laughs> <laughs> I'm here photographing meteor showers for a research project. Mighty pleased to meet you! Okay, this is the character who I associate with the April May music. Oh, <laughs> that makes more sense. <laughs> I like her hair, it's great. <laughs> oh yeah, when it. What was that murder anyway? I ain't seen much television lately. It happened late in the night on Christmas Eve. That's so? Christmas Eve? A man on the boat was shot. Did you see anything? Well, let me see... A boat, you say? I reckon I might have seen one. Not sure, though. Y'all gotta remember, I've been watching this here lake for a good three days now! I've seen enough boats to choke a mule. Kinda hard to remember when I, which I've seen when. Eh, I guess that makes sense. 
So, what is it you do, Lotta? Huh? Me? <laughs> you all don't really want to know that, do you? Actually, I'm a research student at Country U. Yeah, right in this heart of Heartland. <laughs> wow! Neat! Nick, she's a research student at a university at Country U! Uh, so I hear. So when did you come up here? Hmm, let me see. I guess it was about three days ago. What are you photographing? Didn't I tell you all that already? Meteors! Yep, meteor showers. Falling stars? This is Aunt Howell's Moving Castle. I love Howell's Moving Castle. So That's do I. What a camera you have there. Y'all better know it. It's German made. A genuine slugging. Slugging. Slugging because it's German. <laughs> Isn't that where they make <laughs> knives? Um, so what's that device you've stuck to the camera? Huh? Device? It started moving all by itself when I fired my potty party popper. <laughs> oh, that? That triggers the shutter whenever it det detects certain sounds. It's programmed to pick up loud noises right now. A programmable camera! Neat! What is camera added to the court record? I'm surprised that uh, Maya screaming at the top of her lungs did not trigger the camera. All right, so we got a lot of here. It is hard to do Southern. It's great. Oh, hang on. Court record. <laughs> How old is she? All right, so we got Maya, Boot, Miles Edgeworth, Dick Gumshoe's Ferdy. Lada's only 22. Hey, she's pretty cool. <laughs> hey, y'all. Lada Hart here. <laughs> well, I was like, I feel Gene Blackwood. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. All right, I think that's a good place to stop. We're about halfway through the investigation period, I'd say. Okay. So, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Artie. And I'm Marty. And tune in next time, y'all. <laughs> we'll uh, be doing some more investigating. We'll have to go back to the precinct and talk to Gumshoe. Oh, boy. Yeah, uh, some more. Too bad we can't talk to her more. Anyways, hope to see you then. Have a great day, and God bless.